Do guys like it when you message first on Tinder? Well, we're going to address competitiveness and also the minds of men. Coming up next. What's good everyone, Mario here. I wanted to answer the question that I was asked, which was, do guys like it when a woman messages a guy first on Tinder? You know, is that like socially acceptable? Is it gonna be successful or is it a bad sort of uh, practice? Should I be doing it or not doing it? Well, we're gonna answer that and I'm gonna give you all sorts of whys behind that answer. But first, let me remind you that if you're not fully satisfied with your current dating or your online dating experience, then I invite you to join one or both of my free online academies that send out free weekly videos, all designed to help you level up your dating game. Sign up is super easy, take seconds, and you can do so by clicking the link in the description or the card for this video. So, women messaging guys first on Tinder, you know, do guys like it is a good idea. Well, first of all, before we even address do guys like it, let's address is it a good idea? And yes, it is a good idea because in the online dating world, there's even more competition than the traditional dating world because think about it. In the traditional real life dating world, you have to physically bump into people, which very much limits the population that you have access to, right? So, I mean, just think about when was the last time you really physically bumped into somebody new that you were interested in developing a connection with? And if so, you know, did you even have the guts to do something about it? Well, with online dating, you have so much access to much more of a population and it takes a heck of a lot less sort of nerve and courage to actually make a move. So we are basically having so many opportunities and what I need you to understand is that means that you need to be even more competitive, all right? One thing about dating and online dating is that they both basically abide by the Pareto principle, the 80-20 rule. And what that means to you is that the top 20%, male, male and female, have access to 80% of the connections, the results, and the opportunities. So what I'm saying is you women, primarily, mostly, are going for the same top 20% of guys. That means, you know, 80% of the population is going for this, of, of the female population is going for the same 20%, that top 20% of men. That means that these guys have options. They have uh, tons of opportunities to connect with women and they have tons of women who are going to be messaging them first. So you need to understand if you wanna sit back and be like, well, I don't message a guy first. Well, those guys that you're waiting for, that top 20%, you might need to, it might be a better play than waiting for a message that never comes because they're busy dealing with all their ex excessive connections that they just don't know what to deal with. Um, so you need to understand that's what it's like to be a top 20% guy. And as a woman, I want you to kind of think about your experience. With online dating, definitely you get way more opportunities and connections than men. And just think about Top 20% guys have that same experience. And do you respond to everybody? No. I'm sure you have unread messages. And, uh, you know, do you kind of figure out a way to prioritize uh, who you're going to message? You know, well, there's there's tears, you know, like this person, maybe I'll message them eventually. This person, I'm for sure messaging first. Or this person, uh, maybe if they, I'll wait. And, you know, if they message me, I'll respond. But we kind of set up a tier system. But what I encourage you to do is make moves first. Uh, make moves more often because you're being competitive and it can give you a great opportunity to actually have that connection rather than waiting for the guy to establish that connection first because you might wait for something that just never happens. So we're going to be encouraging you, first of all, to make the first move. Now, second, I want to explain why guys are going to respond and appreciate you making the first move. I've got four reasons for you. All right. The first one being that you're making the first move and that means that the guy doesn't have to. So for once, there's a role reversal and instead of us, uh, even even top 20% guys, uh, we no, no guy really enjoys the process of putting himself in a vulnerable position for being accepted or rejected and you know the possible pain of rejection, embarrassment, uh, feelings of failure and frustration that go along with that. Guys aren't big fans of that, no matter who, who they are, successful or unsuccessful. So when you are eliminating that and doing the work for them, they're like, what a welcome opportunity and what a welcome sight. I've got a woman messaging me first. So on Tinder especially, if the both of you matched and swiped, you obviously have uh, some some uh, some level of uh, approval for each other. So understand, it's, it's going to be easier for you to message first knowing that he's already approved of you. All right. Number two, um, 
as I said, he's going to appreciate that you message first, uh, which means that he doesn't have to. But what that specifically does is it eliminates and eases his fears of pain. As I said, those fears uh, are pain of rejection and embarrassment and of, of frustration of not being good enough. So when you message first, you're basically saying you don't have this responsibility. Don't worry about this. And further, um, uh, you're removing the barrier of I hope you know like you know like don't have to worry about uh, any sort of fear of any sort of pain. I'm giving you the all clear. So if we connect and if you respond, then basically you're very likely to get a great response because I messaged you first. So I'm clearly interested. We both matched and swiped on each other, and I'm messaging you first. So the guy's not going to feel very much of uh, nerves or anxiousness about like oh I wonder if I have to say the right thing or you know I wonder if she'll uh, respond even or will she like me. He doesn't have to worry about that. So there's another good solid reason why he would love it if you would message him first on Tinder. Third is that when you message first, you give an opportunity for him to identify visible interest. And you have to understand that guys are not the best at reading signals. But when you message first, that is such an obvious signal that you're into it that um, they can identify it and be like, well, that's a good sign. And um, honestly, that's a big deal to a guy because that can be the difference between who he pays attention to you know should he should he pay attention to someone who has shown visible interest in him who not only connected and swiped right on him but felt that he was worth messaging first that shows that visible interest it's much more in his interest to you know uh connect and invest in let's call it a warm lead rather than a cold lead you know cold lead being well i don't know what she thinks of me i don't know if she approves i don't even know if she'll respond you're a warm lead because you've you've connected you've matched on each other you're messaging first and um so obviously you're a warm lead all right the fourth reason why you need to message a guy first on tinder and that he'll appreciate it is that you're doing yourself a favor I can't really explain this scientifically or with any evidence uh, other than anecdotal and just how it makes sense. Uh, but I want you to understand, if we were to rate your desirability to a guy on Tinder, you know, we have to put it through 1 through 10, all right? And you may or may not like that concept of rating yourself or your desirability, but that's a genuine thing where we should understand that there's, you know, 1 to 10. There could be a level of what a guy perceives your desirability to be. Here's what I want you to understand, that, you know, whatever number you are, let's say you're a seven uh, on his scale, which, you know, you like it or not, just let's go through this exercise. You're a seven. But if you're a seven and you message a guy first, you're almost going to get treated like a nine. So it's like being bumped up two points, you know, so you all of a sudden he can appreciate your beauty a little bit more. He can appreciate your your sharp wit and your written profile, your communication later on when you're interacting in conversation. It's just going to seem that more that much more riveting all because you showed interest and messaged him first. And so now he's just looking for reasons to think that you're great. So one of the things that's going to go on is he's just going to kind of think that you're a little bit more physically attractive, a little bit more non-physically attractive. And what that just means is just, can you imagine just getting a little bump to him viewing your pictures and thinking that you're a little bit more attractive, him reading your written content and think you're a little bit more uh, interesting and worth getting to know him then in the future, then communicating with you and just having that much more of uh, just the the foundation of well, she's pretty cool I, I should like her you know I like certain things about her and he's looking for reasons to like you so if you can imagine that well it doesn't it doesn't take much of a stretch to believe that you can go from basically being like a seven to a nine being the same person but the only thing that changed was you're somebody who messages first so that can help you kind of elevate yourself as far as stepping over your competition and that's something that i very much promote and get game group is like when you have an opportunity you step over your competition and this is one of those opportunities where you can step over your competition because you can basically be be viewed as and treated as a nine out of ten and that means you're stepping over your competition that maybe he might have messaged if all things were equal he went he might have messaged and spent five minutes uh chatting with someone else other than you but you stepped over your competition who might have been maybe a little bit more you know maybe they're considered an eight and you were considered a seven before you messaged first and 
now you're getting treated like a nine and they're getting treated like an eight. So you've elevated yourself and he's going to be messaging you first. Remember I said the, the warm and cold leads. And also he's just going to view you as just a little bit more attractive, a little bit more worth more getting to know. Um, and he's just going to be like, this is just better business investing in somebody who's trying to get to know me. Trust me, there are even some extremes that, that you can kind of see this go into play where someone who is very much unattractive will get a response from a guy uh, who, you know, where there's a gap as far as like, well, would he, would he connect with me? Well, if you connected and sent that first message, you'd be much more likely to get that first, uh, to get that conversation going. So if you're viewing like, well, shoot, well, this, this is cool that we, that we matched. And I'm sure a lot of you out there are like, well, you've matched with tons of people on Tinder, but they never, ever sent the first message. If you really want to get that ball goal in and you're like, well, man, I, I, I'm kind of like, whoo, what a hot guy or what a, what a guy that has going everything, everything going for him. I, I really would love for him to message me and get to know him. And uh, you just might want to do yourself a favor and get the ball rolling. It would be a much better practice if there's somebody that you're really like, I really want to make the first move, all right, because it'll just op give you an opportunity in so many t in situations where you wouldn't have gotten a message uh, ever. Uh, you would have gotten forgotten about and kept at the bottom of like the figurative pile. So I hope you understand now why men actually do really like it when you message first on Tinder, uh, why you need to be so much more competitive, and also four reasons to help you understand the mind of a man and why he feels so good about you actually messaging him first on Tinder. Other thoughts and comments, share those below. I'd love to read them from you and also we could probably all benefit from your perspective. So thank you again. You all take care until the next video. Thanks for watching. If you appreciated the content from this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And male or female, if you're not satisfied with your dating or online dating experience, I invite you to join one or both of our free academies. We have Get Game Group Academy and Get Game Group Online Dating Academy, both of which send out free weekly videos designed to help you up your game.